Uh, well, a few years back, about five years ago, I was uh, unemployed once and the job I could find was in Tijuana. So I started coming across the border to Tijuana each day and I stayed in San Diego. And I spent ye three years at that company and then got another job back at LA. And, uh, but because I became familiar with the area down here, I, I uh, found an opportunity to buy a very nice place on the beach that I never could buy in the US. And I've enjoyed the last couple of years staying in those places. And um, <clears throat> I just really enjoy it down here. And uh, so I come here maybe twice, twice a month just to spend a weekend. Well, yeah, yeah, I have some, I have some friends in Tijuana, so I go there sometimes, go to a restaurant or something. Um, I'm not afraid to travel around there at, at all. Um, I, I suppose you could, you could, if you knew where the wrong place to be was, you might want to stay away from there. But uh, the normal places that people go are not the wrong place, so I wouldn't worry about that. Oh, I don't feel... Um, any any danger really um, I mean you have generally I, I don't hang out uh, in the back street someplace I'm on the main street here in Rosarito and uh, uh, you see uh, thousands of people who live here from the US and so you're you're just like being in the US uh, it looks like Mexico but it, it's like living in the US I don't feel any different I feel a lot freighter when I go to certain parts of LA than when I'm here you know you know uh, they have a super nice shopping mall down here, um, the movie theater and things, and uh, you can see that, you know, these are ordinary people that enjoy their, their life here, and uh, they're not people who are going to do anything to you. I, I don't think that anybody's doing it purposely to be malicious or anything, but there's some kind of news going on. There's battles between the... Uh, drug people, uh, the, di the com opposing drug dealers, and also between the army and the federalities and the drug dealers. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on them now, and they're, um, they're you know, they're, they're uh, getting nervous, and they're doing whatever they can to try to keep their income. Uh, but the battles are always between them. And uh, the news in the U.S. It likes to sensation sensationalize things because uh, they don't really have much news, and they want to make something look big. So they just say, ah, oh, don't go there, it's, it's dangerous, this big thing's happening, people getting killed. But they don't report half the news about people getting shot in L.A. unless an innocent bystander gets shot, and then they report it, you know. So, so it's, it's kind of a, it's very biased uh, news. I oh, yeah, I'm trying to pull them down here all the time, <laughs> you know. Um, I have uh, uh, some relatives from Oregon coming down soon, too. I just tell them, hey. Forget about the news, it's crazy.